Um, oh, I'm not even live, am I? I am live. Am I? I'm so confused. Okay, good. Now I'm live. I guess it's a little bit behind. All right, so now I'm going to draw. <laughs> Because that's why I'm here. I'm here to draw. Um, alrighty, so I um, am going to be answering your guys' questions. And if you want some advice on like how to draw something or whatever, we can do that. But I do have like a plan this time um, for like when you guys don't have questions. I found this little mood board it's up here up there. Um, I found that on Pinterest and I thought it was super cute. I love all the yellows and the different um, patterns and like things that I can make into a character like outfits and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna be working on that if you guys don't have any questions. Oh, how old am I? I am 25. I'm going to be 26 um, in July. So yeah, I feel old. Um, I need to find my brush. Okay. 75. Um, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, that's dark. So whenever I start sketching, I usually like to, um, change the canvas color. Uh something other than white just because it's like oh, it's so bright and it's like blank canvas so I'm just gonna kind of tone this a little bit to a warmer tone but more of a neutral still um, oh, 26 <laughs> I'm almost 26 so we'll be in the same boat um, how long have you been drawing um, I've been drawing like pretty much my whole life but um, I decided I wanted to be an artist when I was like 14 I think I wanted to do like animation um, so yeah but now I, I'm more into like character design and like illustration stuff um, yeah uh, let's see just got Photoshop and Illustrator I was wondering if you have any tips to draw with uh, any tips for drawing with? I don't know if it's gonna say Illustrator. It says I in the chat. Um, I I've only used Illustrator once, and it was for a class. So um, I'm trying to move this window over because I can't see the chat. There it is. Okay. Um, I don't have any tips for Illustrator, but Photoshop. Um, there's just so many things. Uh, maybe play around with your brushes and um, uh, like you can download some and play around with those but find something that you're really comfortable like sketching with and uh, it'll help a whole lot because I remember like not having any brushes downloaded and just kind of being like, well, I don't really like any of these. I'm going to sketch on paper and then, um, like try to go and, um, color them in Photoshop. Um, yeah. And maybe like watch a bunch of tutorials online or something. I don't know. It needs to be more specific for me to like hone in on something. Cause there's a lot of like things that you can do with Photoshop. Um, but yeah, uh, what are some of your favorite movies? I really like Tangled, it's my favorite, like, princess movie, and I like Wreck-It Ralph, How to Train Your Dragon, um, I have not seen the third one, um, shame on me, because it's one of my favorite movies, like, the first one is, uh, I just hadn't, like, gone to the theater to see it, um, Anybody watch YouTube on a web-based computer? That's where I always watch streams. I never watch them on my phone. 
Oh, I did. I just saw Endgame. I did. Um, yeah. We're not going to talk about it because I don't want to spoil anything for, for anybody. It was good. It was good. That's all I'll say. It was good. Um, oh, computer only shows a 30 two second like and then it ends. Um, I did start a stream and I thought I wasn't streaming and then I tried it again. So maybe you're seeing the old one. Um, who are your inspirations? I really love Loish and Vicky Sai. Um, I'm having a hard time like focusing on drawing and answering questions. I need to pick one and then do that and then jump back. We're gonna do drawing. Okay, so I'll go back to the questions, I promise. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna start over so I can um, recollect my thoughts. Uh, for my next event on Instagram, I am going to do I haven't told anybody this yet, but I am doing a draw this in your style and I'm also doing a mood board challenge because I know a lot of people were disappointed that that one didn't get as many votes as the draw this in your style, but I'm doing it where I'll have my character that I make for the draw this in your style and then um, you will create a character that goes with my character as like a sidekick or a friend or whatever. It can be whatever you want, but um, it'll be based off of one of the mood boards that I make. So I thought that would be a cool idea to kind of like give people an option to do both. So I thought, well, both or one or the other. You don't have to do both. But um, I thought I would talk about mood boards um, and just kind of like, I picked this one on Pinterest. I didn't make it myself, but I'm gonna talk about kind of like how I kind of develop a character based on just like pictures like this. Um, like obviously yellow, lots of yellows and like kind of like towards the orange side on some things like these like boots. Um, so there's like rain boots. So I'm thinking like somebody in the rain, I see lemons. I'm like, okay, maybe she can have a, um, like an umbrella with lemons on it. Um, and maybe I can incorporate the pattern down there on her shirt or something. Uh, I'm not going to draw a background for this one, but I would probably incorporate the little um, Volkswagen Beetle because it's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on on the stream I'm drawing. Uh, I'm going to look at the chat real quick. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, Oh no, uh, let's see, what is, oh, okay, I didn't know I could do that. I showed a link in the, in the chat, okay. Uh, okay, what is my favorite thing to draw? Girls, I love drawing girls. It's like pretty much all I draw. If you've seen my Instagram, it's like all I draw. And yes, a clear umbrella with lemons on it. That's exactly what I was thinking. So cute. I don't know what I'm going to name her because I don't know what she looks like yet. But we're going to draw. We're going to draw. Um, I need to zoom in because I cannot see my mood board. Alright. I've been doing a lot of like character design. Um, kind of like sketches and doing some studies and stuff. Um, trying to improve kind of my style because I want to like stylize bodies more because I was trained like traditionally with like figure drawing class and learning like anatomy in college and stuff so I'm trying to like think of more shapes it's still like hard to do um, right now because I'm still like learning but yeah, watching like classes on Skillshare has definitely been helping, but I'm going to start drawing because I haven't drawn anything yet. I don't know how long it's been. Okay, so. Oh, one more thing. I'm bad at drawing umbrellas, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to, to choose. Um... 
Oh, I like the name Poppy. That's so cute. I like that name. We'll see. I've been drawing a lot on my uh, my iPad lately. So I've been put, putting my reference pictures on my computer and then um, I've been like sketching on that so I'll sit at my desk and I'll kind of like look up. I'm like nervous. <laughs> I don't normally have people watching me draw, so it's kind of like, ah, oh no, I'm not warmed up, I just got back from the movies. <laughs> so, we will see how this goes. It'll be okay. It'll be good. Um, maybe I need to, I'm gonna sketch out a quick, like, pose real quick so here's the line of action so that's kind of like where the figure is going to be leaning um and here's her shoulders and then hips so i'm going to try out like a pose it's hard to do with i without a reference um but i don't want to search for one right now i know i shouldn't be nervous can't help it. The public speaking was like my biggest fear. It is my biggest fear. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'll figure it out. I'll just do like a pretty simple pose. We're just de designing the character right now. So I'm gonna do like a hand on the hip kind of thing. And I could have her umbrella up here, maybe. So it's going to be like her, the leg that she's like standing on. And then I think I'm going to have this other one out there, out here, kind of like with her foot up. Maybe she's looking up this way and she's got, oh boy, umbrella time. Oof. Umbrellas are really hard to draw. Uh, I'll have to probably get a reference for like the final version of this, but we'll we'll see. So that's basically like the pose that I'm gonna do. So I, um, you know what? I'm going to make this on a different layer, and I'm gonna hide the face real quick so I can make this bigger. And then I'll just draw on top of this. It'll be like, you know, stretched out too much. See, like the lines got really blurry because I transformed it, but it'll be okay. Um, how does one get better at line art? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I hate doing line art. I hate it so much. I used to do it in um, like paint tool like sigh but I uh, I can't get that on Mac so I just kind of like abandoned that and I was like I'm not gonna do line art anymore I'm just gonna sketch and let it flow and then just kind of clean up the sketch and I think that's the best way for me to do it at least I don't have like a you know super clean like comic book style um, so you know it's like more painty looking, um, but like cleaning up the lines definitely helps. I'll, I'll show you once I get to that point. I think I'm gonna make her face go this way. So I am starting a new layer. I'm going to change the opacity of this and we're going to draw her face, just the basic shape of her face. So I'm gonna give her a round face and kind of where her ear would be. Man, I made her head too big. Oops. Oh, thank you. You liked my Taylor Swift. I did those like really quickly before I left. I'm trying to practice like the 
um, character design I was talking about, like exaggerating proportions a little bit more. Those are fun. Um, hello, the cool J. Yes, line art does take a lot of time. And I am an impatient person, so that's why I don't do it. Okay, she's gonna be just looking straight on because that's the easiest for me to to do. So we're just gonna uh, play around with this right now. And I'm not gonna go into detail on her face yet. I always make that mistake. I like put too much detail in the face and then I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta draw a body now. Oops. So I'm gonna do this first and then move on. Um. I also spend time. Yes, I have heard the Taylor Swift song, and I like it for the most part. I don't like the bridge um, where they're talking about the I and team, and I don't know. It gets a little bit, a little bit too much for me, but I'll probably get used to it, and it'll be fine. But overall, it's like very catchy. And yes, I like the music video. There's a lot of like cool colors in there. It's like pastels and I love pastels. So when you're drawing like a body, you wanna like make sure that you're aware of like where the spine is going. So here's like the front. This is like the front plane of the body right here. And whenever you do um, like whenever you're making up your own poses um, or even like using reference, you wanna try to pick something that's got like um, contrapposto, which is like putting your weight on one leg. So like her shoulders are going this way and her hips are going this way. So that like shift in angle makes like a more dynamic pose. That's always something good to remember. Aw, thank you, you're so sweet. <laughs> uh, um, okay, I'm gonna keep going. I don't know what I want her outfit to look like. I wanna do a shirt with that like pattern on the blanket that's like in the middle of there. I think that's a really cool like design with the flowers and stuff on it. Um. I'm gonna make my window smaller. It's like I can choose between the chat and my, there we go, I, I fixed it. Um, okay, so doo -doo -doo. I think I'm gonna give her a similar outfit to the girl in the picture. So we're gonna do like quarter length, well I guess a little more, or less than quarter length sleeves. I can't see the rest of the shirt, but I feel like it would have like a cute like turtleneck kind of thing on there. Hmm. Actually, I feel like this shirt wouldn't really have a pattern on it like that. So I'm gonna change her shirt a little bit. I'm gonna do like a a cute little crop top thing so that's got like a like a collar on it and it's there we go maybe it ties up here I think those are so cute go button up and then we can do, incorporate kind of like the um, maybe the flowers I don't think I want to do like the circular kind of pattern but I do want to add those, like, I'm not good at drawing flowers. Just picking things that I don't know how to draw very well. I need to practice them more. I'm so bad at flowers. And umbrellas, so, of course. Um, 
but yeah, we're just gonna kind of suggest the flower for now. But still, this is like the beginning stages and we'll, we'll figure it out. Her arm doesn't look like it's in the right place. Mm -hmm. um where should you start i don't know um much about like the surface pro or the um chromebook can you um get like photoshop on them like you can draw like on them right or at least the surface i don't know The goat, <laughs> the queen. Um, but yeah, if you can get like, or if you can like draw on them, um, I would probably just get like a free software and just try it out. You never know if you like it, if, if you're gonna like it, unless you try it. I got my first tablet when I was 14, so that was in 2007 or 8. I always thought it was 2008, but I do have a drawing that says 2007 at the bottom, so I think I was wrong. I've never drawn on a surface so I don't know oh my mm -hmm. gotta keep it loose on here Cause then that's not even right but it's okay it's okay we'll fix it going good and just saw end game so it was good um but we're not gonna talk about it because nobody wants to be spoiled um you know i think i made her legs too long they're not proportionate to the rest of her body so we're gonna shrink those now they're um, a weird shape but it's okay we will fix it um, sorry, that might be too loud. Um, do I play any instruments? I used to play the violin when I was in elementary school. Um, and then I, oh dang it, my tablet like stops working with Photoshop if I click on a new window. Don't know why it does it. It just does. I have to turn it off, turn it back on. Actually, it's not working. Oh no. Oh no. Why isn't it working? Okay, there we go. I think I had something selected. I was afraid because one time when I was recording, um, like a speed painting, my Photoshop stopped working. And it was really annoying but it seems to be okay right now. Ooh, I'm gonna give her the cute little rain boot. Ooh. Yep. I think she's gonna have shorts on. talking about oh yeah instruments so I used to play the violin and then I played guitar for a little while oh no it's drawing on the wrong layer dang it well 
Looks like the sketch is going to be part of the drawing now. So we're going to just merge it down and it's okay. Um, but yeah, I played guitar for a while and I really liked it, but um, I remember going to class and it was just like me and my instructor and I would just ask to learn how to play Jonas Brothers songs for the most part. Yep. So I really liked the Jonas Brothers. Um, how long does a picture usually take to finish? Um, it depends really. Um, yeah, it's like if I'm just doing like a portrait, like I normally post on Instagram, I would say like two hours or so. It depends. Do I like their new song? Um, I like Sucker, but I don't like the other one. I don't think I even listened to it like once a full time. Did not like it. Um, what is my favorite Marvel movie? Um, the second Captain America movie has been my favorite one, but I haven't seen it in so long. leg looks a little strange. Oh no. I'm gonna flip it and I'm going to straighten her leg up a little bit. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Um, I am a Hufflepuff. See my yellow? It's my Hufflepuff colors. Um, Yeah, Sucker was so much better. So, so much better than Cool. Um, yeah, like I always do line art kind of like this. Just kind of sketch. Because I always, I feel like you get a much better like feeling in your drawing like in your sketches for some reason there's like more movement and that's like what I really like in art is like flow and movement I think that's why I like Loish's art so much because she has like a really nice flow to her work let's see I'm trying to figure out how she'd be holding this Something kind of like that, I guess. Yesterday, all I did, pretty much my entire day, was draw hands. I never thought I would do that in my life. Like, spend a whole day drawing hands. I drew 47... Actually, I drew legs in the morning. Because I started a page the night before. Um, but then I just drew hands the rest of the day because I really wanted to practice and now I, I can't draw this hand. It's fine. It'll be okay. Um, what are you drawing? I'm drawing um, the character on, or like a character I'm making up based on that mood board above me. Hi Bobby. Are you okay? I think somebody asked was Marley sleeping. He's not sleeping now. He's doing good. Yes. Thank you. Ooh. 
He's a sweetie pie, aren't you? He's so nice. Do you wanna see this toy? It's a bunny. And it's like, it looks kind of like a goat, but it's actually a bunny. It does not bounce, but it the, the squeaker's really loud, so I'm not going to do it. I cannot make any promises about him. He might. Oh, he likes to play like, like Scar and Mufasa with his toys. He likes to like hold on to them at the very edge and then like let them go and then he'll look at them. It's so funny. He's so goofy. Um, I do not remember Civil War. I saw it in theaters and I didn't. See? See? I told you. He just dropped his toy. Is that silly? Did you drop it on the ground? You goofy. You goofy boy. Why do you do that? Um, yeah, I don't remember Civil War at all. Um, yay, Hufflepuff. Uh, oh man, that sucks for Sony. Um, sorry, I'm gonna keep going. He does this to me all the time. He wants up on his bed and then he'll stare at me until I let him down. Don't you? You're rotten, huh? You're rotten. He wants down. Hold on, I'm gonna let him down. Oh. Did you see him? He's used to it. He puts his paws up on my arm and he's ready to go. What are you doing? Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Oh no, he wants to play. He's gonna squeak. I'm sorry. It's gonna be loud. Um. Yes, I did draw hands for practice. I did a lot of them. I will show you them. I am proud of my hands because I never draw hands. Um, page one, giant hand, little baby hands, and I filled up this entire page with hands, but yeah, never draw hands, I need to draw more, I have a, a challenge that I started on my Patreon Discord where we're drawing 100 hands, and I have 47 so far. I gotta keep going. Anyways, um, um, Marley. Uh, Marley is a Shih Tzu. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like my Instagram. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Just working on this character. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna clean this up completely today. I'm just gonna try to like get her kind of character down and then I'll add some color and then maybe clean it up later. So I'm gonna draw her face. I love drawing faces, it's my favorite thing. So I'm loving this girl's hair over here. So I'm going to, this girl's hair up here. So I'm going to copy her hairstyle once I get to it. So I'm gonna draw her face. So I'm gonna start with the eyes. Oh, somebody on Instagram did ask me, how do I draw eyes? And um, we'll go over here and draw eyes. Um, so what I normally do is, um, like when I draw a face, I blah, 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 have my face here. Your eyes are gonna sit like in kind of the middle of the circle, depending on like how you wanna divide up your face. Oh, I just 
cat's frozen. No. Okay. Um, so just making sure everything's okay. Um, so yeah, so I start and I draw kind of like this kind of shape and with eyes, um, typically, um, like you have like an eyes width in between your eyes. So if these eyes are going to be like this big, should probably be able to fit like another one in here or close to it. So that's kind of how you measure it. But once you like draw a lot of faces and you kind of get used to it. Um, so then I, I kind of like focus on the top part of the eye first. Um, so I draw the eye line. Hey, you stop it. You're making bad audio quality, huh? Stop it. He's licking his feet. Oh, you know what I just realized? I remember I had a fan in here now because I um, I got a new light just recently. Um, and I have a fan in my room now and it's so wonderful. Plus, like, the whole reason I bought this was because I only had one light bulb up here. The, like, light fixture could only hold one. And now I can hold three. And it has a fan, so it's like, oh, that's nice. Because I've been hot this whole time. And I forgot. But anyways, eyes. Yeah, I start with the top part of the eye. And then, um, I don't really put too much detail on the bottom part. Um... But, yeah, just like very simple. I'm gonna have her, right, try to get comfy again. Um, but yeah, something kind of like that. You can do like little eyelashes down here. Always have kind of like a hint of an eyelid. Eyebrows, kind of like about this far. Nose, mouth, so yeah. Aw, I'm glad, I'm glad it helps. My art can help somebody. That's a good feeling. So I'm going to start out drawing kind of like the shape of her eyes over here. I'm going to kind of have her look in this way. Why stop? Um, how long did it take me to develop my art style? Um, I mean it's it's really like a work in progress all the time. You're always going to be growing and learning new things and trying to incorporate like things that you see that you like into your own artwork. I made her eyes way too small. Um, we're going to go back up here. That's as far back as I can go. Um, but yeah, I like, I guess the current way that I work, um, kind of started doing that uh, about a year ago. Um, just like the face shape kind of thing. Um, and like where I put features most of the time. And, and that was all from uh, studying who influenced me. Like my favorite artists, I would do studies of their work in my sketchbook um, to try to get like a feel for how other people did their drawings and it helped um, it helped me kind of like I don't know why my email just popped up okay um, you guys couldn't see it but yeah my email popped up but um, 
it really helps to understand what you like. So I wrote down like, okay, I like this artist, this artist, this artist, blah, blah, blah. And then I would like write exactly what about their artwork I liked. I would study it and see like, okay, this is kind of like what they do. Maybe I can try to do something kind of like this and apply it to my own work. And that's how you kind of like grow your art style. But I mean, everybody has an art style like right now, even if you don't really like draw a whole lot, everybody has like, it's like your art style is how you draw right now. And it will like develop into something that you like and something that stands out from other people's art styles over time. It, sh it just takes like a little while. I think I actually might take this girl space over here and drop it over here. So, Doo -doo -doo. goodbye. I'm gonna move this. Yes, I have heard of Sophie Scribble. Um, I remember, I guess it was like last year or so, I found her account and she had like 1,000 or 2,000 followers on Instagram. And I was like, oh my gosh, her style is really cute. Why doesn't she have more followers? But yeah, we are mutuals on Instagram. And yeah, she's pretty awesome. Let's see if her face is looking okay. okay. Really, I just like this girl's eyes from the other drawing that I did. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but sorry I don't have any music. I don't know what was happening. Like my software would close itself whenever I started playing the music at first and then I got it to stay but then the music wouldn't like play because I would record it and then like play it back to see if it was working because that's what I usually do before I start streaming. Um, I want to make sure everything's okay and it wasn't okay and it was time to start and I was like mm, I don't want to make anybody wait if they want to see it but they're crunched on time. So. but I'm going to continue with this and I'm gonna s probably start adding color here pretty soon. Um, just because I need to eat dinner still, which is usually the case when I start streaming. Don't know why, because I like put that off, but um, yeah, we're gonna get into finishing up kind of what she looks like and then um, get some color down. Let's move her face shape up a little bit. Oh, thank you. I like it too. Ooh, I'm gonna give her lemon earrings. Ooh, so cute, so cute. Chipotle, I've never had Chipotle, actually. 
There's not really one like close to where I live. I like Qdoba. They're pretty much the same thing, right? Kind of. Alright, so let's see. Give her some curly hair. And with hair, I always like to like get kind of like the hairline going and then I'll decide on like the shape. So I'm kind of looking at this girl's hair and it's it kind of starts from her scalp and it comes out around. So right here I've made it like too thin, I guess. I don't want it to be too big. It's kind of hard to see like the angle. I don't have to make it exactly the same, right? I'll just kind of throw in some curls here. Oh yes, I do have a Twitch and I used to stream on Twitch, but nobody watched it. So I figured hmm, pretty much everybody has a YouTube, right? I'll try that instead. And it, it's worked out so far. This is my second stream that I've done. Um, on YouTube and I'm liking it so far so it's good but I would seriously like have nobody on the stream and I didn't know what to do because I didn't have anybody to talk to so I'm like mm, I'm just here I'm drawing <laughs> it's awkward Ooh. I like this kind of like this shape but not like like my hair. There we go. Bring it up here. I love these like little loose curls. So cute, so cute, so cute. Hmm. I think even though I like her eyes, I'm gonna adjust them a little bit to give her expression a little bit more like interest because she's like looking straight at the camera so I'm going to like have her eyes go up here and give her a little bit more of like a playful look since she has that like foot that's kicking up down there um I will answer some questions. I think I'm also going to, whoa, wrong way. I'm going to tilt her head a little bit and see what that does. Let's see. No, I like it this way better. Feel like it gives it maybe like a better balance to the pose and a little bit more attitude than just like standing straight, head straight. Even though the pose isn't great since I didn't use a reference, but it'll be okay. Let me get a better look at these boots over here. Do you guys hear Marley licking? He's driving me nuts. Oh no, it's the fan. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't know. He's, he's sleeping. <laughs> oh. I hear that noise. I'm like, stop licking. Stop licking your feet. Because he drives me insane sometimes. I love him, but he drives me insane. Um. <laughs> They're popping. <laughs> yeah. But now my fan is making a. Um. Um. Uh, what software do you have for your um? 
your tablet? Do you have the one, does any software like come with your tablet? Welcome Intuos S. Oh, so is it the Intuos or Intuos Pro? I have the Intuos Pro Medium, but I think the Intuos, um, the Intuos is like the entry level tablets, right? Because they used to be called the Bamboo Fun. That's what I had when I started out. I used that for so long. I, I think I used that longer than I, yeah, longer than I've had this tablet. I used to use my tiny, tiny, tiny tablet. And it was like, hmm, probably like this big in comparison, like very small. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love doing my makeup, but you know, since I'm at home by myself most of the time, just working at home, I don't get to really do my makeup. I mean, I guess I could, but I feel like mm, it's kind of a waste of time and waste of makeup. So I don't really do it at home if I'm not going anywhere. Okay, yes. Um, so for the Intuos, um, I would say, um, have you messed around with your settings? Um, like on the control center thing, I think that's still um, a thing with all their tablets, right? I don't know. Um, but they have like, I guess I can't really show you right now because I don't have it set up on my uh, recording software. Um, but there's like a thing where you can, you should look it up. Look up uh, Intuos um, pin pressure settings because it's got like this little line and you adjust your curve so it'll like change your pressure. Um, any tips on anatomy or figures? Um, I would say to um, draw from life if you can. Do figure drawing classes, um, but it's really helpful first if you learn like the correct like proportions of the figure. So, um, so like the whole thing like okay a person's usually like like an adult person like that we look at for anatomy reference is seven to eight heads tall um and then um where did I draw oh I I got something for you um oh my eyes. Oh, I did this earlier today so I don't know if you guys saw my Taylor Swift sketches that I did, oh, and I posted them. Oh boy. Let's see. Um, so I was drawing these. You can't see them. Um, I'm sorry I hit the mic. That was probably bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, so I was drawing those earlier, but before I did that, I actually drew a person and I was marking the landmarks of the body oh no why is this not working I love this thing but it drives me crazy sometimes it's like it doesn't pick up my finger pinches okay so oh yes the precision mode is wonderful I don't use it all the time but I drew this earlier to like practice my, I was like, okay, this is what a, a figure typically, um, like the, like landmarks of the figure, they call it. Um, so it's like your elbow will hit like your belly button. If there was like an, Im oh. <laughs> an imaginary line going from your elbow to your belly button. 
um, and then like your hands, like the bottom of your hands will touch um, about mid thigh. So yeah, I drew that earlier, but there's all kinds of like resources online that you can find um, about stuff like that. And I would highly suggest that you learn that and you practice it because um, that's like one of the most important things that you can learn um, if you're gonna draw characters and stuff. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm looking back at the chat. Oh, you just got a coffee? Oh, I feel like I need a coffee and I need to eat. I think I'm having chicken salad for dinner. <sighs> um, right now I'm just gonna kind of like clean up some of these messy lines. I'm gonna keep some of them in there though. Um, Uh, Rancid drink coke now? What? <laughs> I drew a person that looked like a long alien. You gotta like look up the stuff that I was talking about. It will seriously help you so much. Um, like learning anatomy and stuff will change the way that you draw and it's wonderful. It helped me so much. Um, you guys are silly. Okay. <sighs> umbrella time. We're doing it. Hold on. I'm gonna look up umbrella. I'm just gonna look up umbrella. Nope. So I can have something to look at. Umbrella. Um, this is hard to do with only two hands. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Umbrella. Oh, that's a really long stick for this umbrella. Oof. Oh no, I'm gonna mess up her hair. I need to do this on the on another layer. I think I might move her arm a little bit. Maybe move it up. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Is she cute? Okay. Take that out. I have that. So now it's like a little bit closer to her body, I guess. Um, like her arm is. Um, okay, so new layer. Um, This umbrella's not gonna work for me. I really like these cute clear umbrellas. These are so cute, the little dome looking ones. Mm. I need one where I can like see underneath of it. I guess this one, this one's all right, all right. We're gonna do this. Gotta pay attention to where this is going. So this is the middle of the umbrella. And these little spoke things kinda come up. It's going to create a dome and we're going to go around and keep in mind the center of the umbrella so this is probably too far. Don't make it too domed because that's not the kind of umbrella I'm drawing. So now I kind of have like a layout and we're going to, yeah it kind of looks like an umbrella, right? Maybe? Maybe. Ah, we're gonna lower the. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been talking a lot. Um, 
Hello, everyone who is joining, and goodbye, Alondra. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have enjoyed the stream so far. We're not done yet. I'm gonna fudge this little umbrella and then we're gonna put some color on her to wrap things up. What are you guys going to do tonight on Friday night? Have any plans? I'm going to be playing Borderlands 2. Eh, it doesn't look too bad, right? This umbrella is acceptable as an umbrella. Maybe. It's acceptable. I will take it. It's a huge umbrella. Ooh, cool. That's what I just did. I saw in game. It's good. Oh, you have a whole day ahead of you then. That's nice. It is 9.39 p.m. here um, in the Eastern time zone. All right. Um, Yes, Tales from the Borderlands. I love it so much. That is my favorite Telltale game. I love it, I love it, I love it. I need to play it again. Ooh, I just almost duplicated those. I need to merge them. All right, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm going to darken it. Aw, I like how she's turning out so far. I did a drawing live. <laughs> I normally just like scribble and I'm scared. Mortal infant. Oh, I know what that is. I have not seen it. I don't really watch a whole lot of movies unless it's an animated movie, but I absolutely will be watching it. Hello. Goodbye. Enjoy your movie. Since I kind of made a mess of this, I'm going to clean up these lines a little bit and we're going to put some color on here. Ooh, messy, messy umbrella. Goodness, goodness. Okay, I can't forget to add the little lemons to the umbrella. Me too. Um, I don't think that Troy Baker is going to voice Reese, unfortunately. I really like Troy Baker. That's Booker from Bioshock Infinite, and he does Joel from The Last of Us. What a shame. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm using, it's called a chalk brush, but you know, when I zoom in, it's just like a blurry chalk brush, you know? It's very strange. It's my favorite brush though. Love it. So smooth. I'm gonna adjust her. 
Okay, a little bit. Here we go. Oh, she's cute. I love her. I love her already. Don't know what her name is. I do like the name Poppy. That's so cute. Ooh, I could do, I could put little poppies on her shirt. That would be cute. Uh, do I have a live stream schedule? Um, well, right now I'm doing it like at the end of the month, um, typically, um, because uh, I kind of have like a schedule. Um, like this stream is like for, um, it started as like for my patrons to be able to like ask questions. Like they have like priority questions. Um, but I don't get like a whole lot of questions or usually any really, so I just kind of like opened it up to everybody, but if anybody does have a question, of course I'm going to answer the questions. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was like, it's like fun to like kind of hang out. It's cool to like talk to you guys and be able to just kind of sketch and relax. That's my aunt's name. Alright, we are going to color. We're going to color her now. I'm going to make her a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and crop this down. There we go. Um, so... I'm going to add a little bit of red tones to this because that's what I always do. Brighten it up, darken it down. There we go. Oh, my shoulders are killing me. I feel like both my arms like up on my desk. Um, how long does it usually take to draw a full sketch? Um depends it takes me longer on the stream because I'm like looking at questions and stuff and answering questions I get distracted and I have a hard time drawing and sketching like when I first um, like especially when I first start the stream I'm kind of like trying to get comfortable Lemmy oh, I like lemons that's cute Lemmy all right, coloring time now. So I'm gonna pick a color. Uh, let's go with a yellowy color. And I am going to map out, or like make a base for my color. I explain all this in one of my videos that I have on YouTube. Um, the complete my complete painting process. I think that's what I called it. I should probably remember that, but I don't. Um, oh, back to the question about uh, live stream schedule. Yeah, I would like to do more. Uh, I'm still like getting kind of like used to it, uh, but as of right now, it's usually like it's usually on Saturdays. Um, like Saturday night, but I couldn't do it Saturday night this weekend because tomorrow I am going to be an assistant photographer taking pictures at a wedding. I'm assisting my photographer, that was like my wedding photographer, taking pictures at somebody else's wedding. So that's, that's fun because she's awesome and uh, I can learn a lot from her. But I, yeah, I also do photography. Um, not as much as I used to, because um, I'm more focused on art, but um, I do really enjoy, enjoy it. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the pictures I posted on my story. My stepsister's dog did those last week. Um, but the only downside to photographer, photography is like, Oh, I have my camera right here. I can show you how heckin' big it is. Um, I 
Look at this monster lens that I have on this thing. This thing's heavy. It is very heavy. It's like leaning forward. It kills my wrist. It hurts so bad. I have to wear a brace when I take pictures because I'm like moving it around all over the place. And this is the lens that I usually use because um, it's, it's a good like walk around kind of lens. Um, and if I need to, I can zoom. But yeah, I have to wear like a wrist brace. So that's not great. Um, but I, I still really enjoy doing it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what color this is. Okay, so I have my base and I'm going to go up here and make a clipping mask on here so I can start my coloring. And I put all the different materials on uh, different layers. That way, if the colors don't really like feel like they go together, I can change them fairly easily. So this makes it really easy. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Sophia Sketch, I bounced around and I did not fully answer your question, I think. Um, it depends on like if a full body pose and everything takes a lot longer than doing just like a portrait, um, like just a face. Uh, normally it takes me like two hours to do like a portrait. Could, um, could take longer. It just depends really on uh, if things are working out or if they're not. Um, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the tutorials. I really like helping people. Um, let's see. Oh, you just got done with a wedding. That's cool. I like weddings. They're pretty hectic, but they're fun. I was just in a wedding. My first wedding. I've never been in a wedding other than um, at the beginning of April. Two of my friends got married, so that was fun. They just left for their cruise today. Um, what's your favorite video you've ever made? Um, I don't really know yet. I haven't really made like a ton of videos. I'm still like trying to get used to it. Like I said, like public speaking has always been something that I'm like super afraid of. Um, in high school when I had to do my senior speech, like before I went to school, I considered just like failing the class because I really, really, really did not want to talk in front of people. I get so nervous. I mean, I've gotten so much better doing the videos and stuff, um, like the YouTube videos, and I, I'm glad I started doing it because it's really helped me. And like talking to people like through Instagram, and, like doing live streams on there and doing these live streams definitely helped me. But it's still like something that I, I feel a little bit uncomfortable when I first get into it and then it gets better. So, um, yeah. What am I changing the color of? Oh my goodness. Changing the color is the wrong thing. Try to change the color of her hair. Um, but yeah, I don't know what video probably one of my sketchbook tours to be honest i didn't even watch the last one that i made all the way i watched like a bunch of pieces of it and then i just never went back and watched the whole thing i don't like watching myself talk i really don't like it <laughs> i think that's the hardest part is like getting the, my big lights out getting my camera out and looking at the camera and talking to myself So, 
um, yeah. Oh, and in, in uh, college, I had to take a public speaking class, and um, I took one over the summer online because that's how much I wanted to avoid it. I only had to go in three times and give three speeches. And I know everybody else who talked about like, oh, the public speaking class is awful. Like the people who took it like during the school year instead of over the summer, they were saying they would go to class and they would have to give a, a speech like off the top of your head. I can't do that. No, no way. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Freak me out too much. I'd have like super bad anxiety all the time if I did that. Maybe it would have helped though. I'll never know. I'm not going back. Um Are there any art YouTubers you like to watch? Um oh, thank you. You like my eyes. Um, any art YouTubers? Um, I, I like watching, I don't watch like a lot of art videos because I try not to like get other people's like videos in my head and then accidentally say the same kind of stuff when I'm making my own. I mean, I guess it's helpful to like, um, see like examples, but I don't want to like get too close to things and accidentally um, make almost the same video. I don't want to do that. Uh, but I do like um, drawing with waffles. She's great. Um, what's her name? Sarah Tepes? I don't know how to say her name. I don't remember. I could probably pull up my subscriber list on here if you guys want to know. Um, I'm going to pull them up right here for you. Um, oh, how did I forget? Keenan Lafferty KNKL Show is my absolute favorite YouTube artist. I love his show. It, it, it like changed the way that I paint like completely. Like two years ago, I found him on YouTube and I was like, oh my God, I need to try this stuff out. And he's amazing. You should definitely check out his stuff. It's Keenan Lafferty, the KNKL show. He hasn't posted anything in a little bit. And it makes me sad because I miss his videos. But hopefully he'll get back into doing it. I'm sure he's doing uh, some stuff with like studios or whatever. Um, boop, 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 looking, yeah, Sarah Tepes. Um, oh, Friend Nerd is awesome too. Um, oh, Laura Price, Lulu Sketches on Instagram, she's great. Love her videos. Um, Oh, that's good that I come across is natural. I feel like this is this is how I talk to people. Like it's good right now. At the beginning, I'm like kind of nervous, but I I get into it a little bit more, and it really helps. So you guys are in the chat, helps me keep going. You know, so that's great. Thank you guys so much for being here. You changed the live stream for the better. It's wonderful. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello, Bella. I am, um, I'm coloring right now, so I'm gonna keep coloring, uh, for a little bit. I do need to eat dinner, still, but you can watch the entire live stream on YouTube. Um, you can go back and watch it. I'm like, I feel like I'm losing my voice, almost. Need to drink more water. <sighs> um, 
let's see, I need to paint her eyes. She looks a little bit messy close up, but it'll be fixed once I take the time to clean it up. I'm not going to do it on the stream because that's the monotonous part, I guess. I mean, I enjoy it, but I don't know if it's interesting to watch. Oh, my least favorite thing to draw. There's so many things. Umbrellas is one of them. <laughs> um, I hate drawing cars and buildings. Anything that doesn't have a flow to it. Anything that's like very structured. Don't like it. I like flowing movement. I like natural things. I like drawing uh, like flowers. Well, not really flowers, but like I like putting flowers in my drawings. It just takes me a little bit to draw them. Um, I definitely have to use a reference when I draw flowers. Um, but yeah, I really, really hate drawing um, cars. That's why I don't do it. And things in perspective is pretty difficult. Don't like that either. Um, favorite. Uh, favorite thing? Girls. I like drawing cute girl characters. Um, and like nature things. I also used to draw like a bunch of dogs and stuff. That was my favorite thing to draw for a while. I don't know. I've never had a stream troll. Let me get out of here. Don't want any of that on here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Moment to remember. <sighs> no thanks. We're not going to talk about that. Oh yeah, I don't know how to do any of this stuff, so I need help with the with mods and stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. I just I just draw. <laughs> I'll figure it out, but I need to do a little bit of research first. watch a lot of streams to be honest um oh yes it did go through an anime phase oh it's 11 i should find some of that stuff i have my old drawings you know what i used to do i used to take my pokemon fire red leaf green guidebook and my animal crossing for gamecube GameCube guidebook to class when I was in fifth grade and I would ask people, okay, pick out your favorite Pokemon and pick out your favorite Animal Crossing character and I'll draw them for you. So that's what I would do. That's what I would do. And they would all have like the big anime eyes. Uh, yeah. Good times.
She needs some shading on her hair. I can't even see what her hair is doing because I need to change the color of the lines. But, ooh, I think I'm going to get out my textured brush to give her hair a little bit of texture here. A nice little fade. I'll add some highlights. Yeah, I'm liking that so far. Easy face shading. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Well, you want to keep in mind, I mean, I know mine is very stylized, like in regards to like a face, but when you're picking where to put your highlights and your shadows, you want to keep in mind like the planes of your face. So for example, I will make a new layer up here and I will sketch. Um, so okay, for example, when you're, when you have a nose, oh no, there we go. So, okay, here's a nose. Um, so with a nose, you have like different planes. So you have like the one up here. So there's one plane, it's like smaller than that. And then you have like the ones that go down on the side. So like one's probably gonna be shadow. And then this one's probably gonna be a little bit lighter of a shadow. Or you might have a highlight, depends. And then you have like one under here. You just need to like look up the uh, planes of the face. Cause like, you know, up here you have a highlight. Over here, these kind of like slope down. So it's either gonna catch the, well over here on me, it's um, a shadow and then the light is hitting it right here. I always have like a highlight on the chin, on the forehead, on the tip of the nose. I like to add a little bit of highlight like right here on the eyes um, so it just really depends um, like the lighting situation so I would like I would look that up and uh, maybe I can make a video about that um, soon I think I might do a nose tutorial next because um, I'm supposed to have another video uh, next week maybe hopefully I can get it done on Monday um, Sleepy Mia, is that on Instagram? Oh, look. Sleepy Mia. Oh, her style is cute. Very cute. I love this one. Love it. Her hair's got that purple tone in it, and her eyes are purple. Very cute. Sorry, probably shouldn't be looking at my phone while I'm streaming, right? Um, what we are going to do now, since I have, well, actually, I'm going to add a little bit of highlights to her hair real quick. textured brush and kind of probably end up changing this later but get some of this in here show these curls off And now we are going to, I'm going to add some color to the, uh, to the lines. I'm going to do her hair first because it's driving me crazy how the lines are lighter than the actual hair. There we go. And I'm also going to do the eyes too. So kind of go around these upper lids on the eyelashes, get her eyebrows, and start going in here. A 
piece of fuzz that flew in front of my face. I guess you couldn't see that, but I was like, what is that? And it slowly floated by. So, darkened up her hair a little bit. I think I'm gonna do the bottom part of it a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to press the wrong button. I'm going to darken up the lines around her shirt a little bit. Mm, it's a little bit too light. Man, I'm getting sleepy. I don't need to be getting tired. I got video games to play tonight. I got a first time Borderlands player playing with us. I played through the story a few times, so it's not my first rodeo. But I, I did start a new character for this. I can't wait for Borderlands 3 to come out. Super excited for that. Been waiting for a long time. Cute little lemon earrings. Mm, I don't like this color. It's too saturated. Bring it down a little bit. That's better. I want to do a YouTube video about color. I don't really know how to like explain it right now. Like how to pick colors. Other than like don't oversaturate your colors. You don't want every single thing to be like as bright as it can be. It's best to have like more um not like super undersaturated but like Kind of like towards the left side of the color, um, like square thing that you pick your colors on uh, Photoshop. And then like bring out the bright colors and they'll stand out more. Uh -huh. Thank you guys. I'm just gonna leave her hands as kind of blobs right now because I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I already did enough hands this week. Okay. So I'm going to make a new layer on top of this. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? I need to do the umbrella still. Wrong color.
Ooh, I think I want to give her purple eyes. Yes. Contrast with the uh, the yellows going on here. Be cute. Yes. Loving it. Loving the purple. Can I pull it back a tiny bit? Don't want to see the people. There we go. And then I'm going to add a little bit of green. Hello. I think they did buy Fox. That was like a thing that just happened, right? They were trying to do it for a long time and then it like it's like official now. But they did. What I'm doing now is just kind of like adding a little bit of cleanup stuff. I'm not going to do everything right now. I just wanted to like make it a little bit more acceptable. Um, it's mostly like around her face. And then I always like to add a little bit of a, well not always, because sometimes it doesn't make sense, but I, I like to add kind of like a purple tone shadow. I think that looks good. Um, it's a lot of stuff. I love that color. Have I ever tried realism? Yes. I had to. I had to do realism. I got I could show you guys some stuff uh once I find it. It'll have to be like another time. But yeah, I had to do realism in college. Um I can figure drawing class. So um, it's okay, I guess. I'd much rather translate something, like, or translate realism into something else. That's why I like cartoons so much. I think it's very fascinating that people do that. Could I do a realism tutorial for a video? Um, I don't really draw realistically anymore. Like I try to draw, like sometimes I'll try to draw realistically, but I, it just doesn't happen. I have like a style that's so like ingrained into how I draw at this point that it's hard to break away from that and have it not influence the way that I draw. So, I don't know, like any of the tutorial videos that I do, I'll try to um, stick to as close to the reference as I possibly can. So you guys can kind of put your own spin on it, but um, it's, sometimes it's just hard to change like the way that I'm like so, um, used to doing, you know? Um, yeah, this is like my favorite kind of way to draw, like what I'm doing here. 
that's why like you know when I do commissions for people or whatever I say like in my drawing style like that's why you're wanting me to do it I'm not gonna like do something different you know because most of the time that's why people hire me to make stuff for them is my art style I need to move on. I need to move on. I gotta eat. Oh no, I don't like what I did. That's why it's always good to draw on top of it. I made like this shoulder thing, did something weird. The bottom of her chin looks weird. Like I changed so much without even realizing it. It's a little strange. I don't even like her eyes anymore. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of most of it, to be honest. Even the purples and stuff. How many layers am I using? Um, I use a layer for every, um, every type of material, like, in the color. So I do my sketch and then, like, uh, you guys can see it, right? Uh, yeah, so over here, it's like I'm moving it. So I have my base color, then I have one two, three, four, five, six colors for, uh, like on top of that, that I use a clipping mask for that will allow me to, um, like I'll stay in the lines and I won't scribble too much. And then I have my lines layer and then I have, uh, the colored lines part. And then I have, I guess these little lemons. So I still need to do, I'm going to make another layer, do this umbrella. So I'm doing it kind of like clear, which I'll have to mess around with when I finish this. So it's clear with lemons on it. Oh, thank you. I really enjoy doing those like commissions. People just want like a caricature done, pretty much. Those are always fun. I did some for my friend's uh, wedding, and uh, it was like both of them as two Dragon Ball Z characters, two Star Wars characters, and then they um, wanted one of the, themselves just like from a picture. But those were cute. They were like they were on the tables and stuff. I'll make the handle yellow, why not? Oh, I guess I would be able to see it through here. Actually, that'll distract from the lemons. I think I'm gonna make it. Okay, oh, not that. Um, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm liking it so far, too. Um, ooh, that reminds me. I want to do, before I forget, I'm going to do one of those, I'm going to do a strong highlight on these boots so they, they stand out as rain boots. My neck hurts. Lemon time. Make sure that this is bottom, even though it is clear, you wouldn't be able to tell that. What did he do with lemons? I watch Game Grumps. I haven't watched them in a while, but... What's with the lemons? I 
don't know. How do I draw a lemon? What's a lemon look like? It's mostly round and it's kind of got like a point at the end. Oh no, I have not heard the new album. I did watch the um, music video though, that one for Mario Party. I didn't watch him when he was on Newgrounds. I just started watching Game Grumps probably in 2015, maybe? But I, I did listen to, uh, I don't know if you guys ever listened to like that podcast. I think it was called Before the Grumps. I found that like really interesting, like kind of learning about what they did before we were on Game Grumps. I always like stuff like that. I find it really interesting. Um, I probably won't see the Aladdin movie like in theaters. There's just so many things that I want to see like coming out. Like I'm definitely seeing Detective Pikachu. I think that looks really funny, and I've always loved Pokemon, so definitely gonna be going for that and then I want to see Toy Story but I don't know if uh, I don't know if Chris will go with me my husband I don't know if he will because he's like I don't really want to go see it in theaters I'm like it's Toy Story come on But I don't know. Like I saw the trailer for um, the Lion King movie, and I just kind of think like I like the animated version of things better. I mean, I know these are still animated, but two D, love it. Bring it back. It's great. So fascinated by like 2D animation. I don't think I'm gonna get these lemons leaves. What am I doing? I should draw lemon slices and not just lemons. <sighs> Too many lemons like this. They're all the same. Lemon slices. <laughs> yes, there are so many movies. There's so much music that I like. There's so much like so many video games, like Animal Crossing. Oh my god, I want it so bad. I I have missed Animal Crossing. I've put so many hours into New Leaf. That was that was my game. I had three hundred plus hours in that game, and I would still go back to it. But I have too many other things I'm doing. I love Animal Crossing. I cannot wait. I really hope it comes out this year, like they said. Um, what else? Borderlands. New Pokemon game for the Switch. Something I've been waiting for for so long. It's like perfect for the Switch. Um, what else? Okay. I love Allie and AJ. Their new music is wonderful. I'm going to see them in concert in May, something that I have been wanting since I was in like middle school. Like I loved listening to them in middle school and 
now they like came out with new music just recently and I love it it's like totally like my kind of style of music it's like that synth pop kind of stuff ah oh, I love it um, so they're coming out with new music and Carly Rae Jepsen is coming out with new music and she is my favorite of all time she is wonderful um, and I bought tickets to meet her and see her in concert in July like around my birthday and I'm so excited I love her she's amazing um, what else uh, Jonas Brothers could be good we talked about this earlier the one song is good the other song is not very good so we'll see but I was huge a huge Jonas Brothers fan in like middle school and in high school too some um oh I'm missing the chat um Captain Marvel was okay I have not seen Shazam I do want to see that too um I know Nintendo please oh you should listen to the new Ally and AJ stuff they came out with a new song like today it's so good I love it I really like their last song that they came out with it's called church it's very good I listen to it all the time I think I'm just about done so we can talk for a few minutes but I still need to go eat dinner so I'm gonna do that pretty soon um oh <laughs> hello I'm about to leave pretty soon because I need to eat some food but I can um, I can stay for a few more minutes. We'll do... Oh man, it's 10.30. I have not eaten dinner. I'm so hungry. Um, what is my favorite sport? No sports. <laughs> I don't like sports. I don't do those. I don't watch them. Like... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I like football parties because of food. I like baseball games because of food. So if there's like food involved, okay, I'll do it. Get to eat some like junk food and stuff. Yes, please. Yes. Um, get the, yes, do you believe in magic was my jam. I used to listen to that on repeat. It was fabulous. Um, yeah, I am going to eat, I made chicken salad like two days ago since we went to the movies and like I'm doing this right now. I didn't make anything new so I'll probably just eat that because um, we have a little bit left. But yeah, that's what I'll probably do. Doesn't sound too bad. I'm fine with it. Um, and then I have like some salad left over, which might be okay. I don't know. I already put dressing on it because it was like a salad in a pack that you just kind of like, you put spinach in a bowl and you dump the salad stuff in it and then it already has like the dressing with it. So the dressing has been on the salad for two days in the refrigerator, so I don't know if it's soggy or not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I could always make like a quesadilla or something. Um, Alright, goodbye. Uh, thanks for joining. Oh, oh, I'm almost done working on this. I'm gonna go eat. 
just gonna finish it up real quick. I know it's not completely done, but we're just gonna kinda um, add a little something something to it to finish it up because I like doing this part. I'm gonna change the color of the background. It's driving me crazy. Ooh, purple. Yes, purple's good. Loving the purple. No, not dark. Got light purple. Make all the yellow pop. I'm going to brighten our colors up a little bit. And a little bit of a more red toned. Um, I'm going to add a shadow underneath of her. Yes, complimentary colors. Yes. So we got that, and then we're gonna go on top of this and. Oh, I need to add some of that purple back in here because I deleted it earlier, but I still think it needs to be there just to kind of pull it together. Okay, let's put some in our hair. Yes. Hold on this change the opacity yeah. mm -hmm. mood board things are always great to do for like you don't really know what you want to draw and then kind of get inspiration all in one place and then there you go. Karen. And then I'm gonna do one more thing. So I'm gonna add an overlay layer with some like peachy tones, cause I love peach. Just kind of like brighten her up in different places that the light would be hitting. too much on her face. I mostly like to get like on the nose and on the cheeks, on the ears, but I think it might be a little bit too much. But I usually go back and, oh I also do like on the lips as well. Change the capacity of that, just to give it a little bit of brighten up. And I think I'm done for now. I'll probably go back and clean her up later, but um, maybe I'll do a little like sketchy outline. I think these are always like fun to do, it makes things really pop. But sometimes I do it and then I don't like it, so then I end up deleting it. Sorry. Don't know if you heard that, it was my computer. I got an email. I don't really like this little outline thing I'm doing. Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't know if that was loud or not. It hit the mic. Okay. 
Yeah. yeah, that's kind of fun. I like that. Bring in some of these. Um, I use um, Audio Technica. It's like a little um, standing mic. I like it. I just bought it recently. Uh, it was, uh, I bought it last month with the uh, pledges that I got from, pa from Patreon that month. Yeah, like pledges really do help. And this month I bought my fan, I, my light for my office. So I have light in my room now. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty great. The people support my stuff, my art, and support what I love to do. I'm glad you guys like it too. I think I'm going to brighten up her eye color a little bit. Okay, I'm going to call it here. I'm done. I'm done and I'm going to go eat now. Thank you guys for joining me for another live stream. Um, as far as I know, the next one will be at the end of May, probably the last weekend in May. Um, but who knows, I might throw in another one somewhere, uh, depending on like scheduling and stuff. So I will let you guys know on Instagram um, in my story if I decide to do another one sooner rather than later um yeah but thank you for joining me in the stream and i will talk to you later bye now i gotta end this where's the button